We asked three experts about healthcare-associated infections in European hospitals. This is what they said. Healthcare-associated infections are infections acquired by patients during their stay in a hospital. Although some of these infections can be treated easily, others may more seriously affect a patient's health. Increasing their stay in the hospital and result in increased hospital costs. According to the latest data from the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, on average, on any given day, one in 14 hospitalized patients have a healthcare associated infection. Critically ill patients are the most at risk for such infections. This means that each year about 4.3 million patients in European hospitals acquire at least one healthcare associated infection during their stay in the hospital. The most common healthcare associated infections are respiratory tract infections, such as pneumonia, urinary tract infections, and surgical site infections. These three types of infection account for more than 50% of the total number of healthcare associated infections. Well, the situation regarding healthcare associated infections has changed and they are more frequent uh, now in hospitals uh, in comparison to the survey in 2016 2017, uh, due to obviously COVID 19 pandemic. Because in recent years, uh, SARS CoV 2, uh, the virus causing COVID 19, was uh, very common. Uh, in fact, the fourth most common microorganism responsible for healthcare associated infections. And uh, healthcare associated COVID 19 was a key factor contributing to the overall increase in prevalence of uh, healthcare associated infections uh, in comparison uh, with the, the survey performed in 2016-2017. And uh, this uh, reflects a really huge impact uh, of a disease, uh, which is uh, ultimately uh, fatal but preventable. So um, other than that, COVID-19 um, accounted for one in 14 uh, healthcare associated infections and nearly one uh, in four of all lower respiratory tract infections. Um, be, before this survey, the respiratory tract infections caused by viruses were not recorded uh, as such. And that's the, hence the, the difference that we see now. At least one to five of healthcare associated infections can be prevented by continuous and comprehensive infection prevention and control and antimicrobial stewardship programs. The key Elements of these programs include simple infection prevention and control measures such as appropriate hand hygiene and ensuring the alcohol-based hand drug dispenser are available at the bedside. Uh, more complex measures include uh, sufficient uh, isolation capacity, uh, which means that there is sufficient number of single rooms in order to isolate patient infected with certain microorganisms or colonized, and from the other hand also for isolation of patient at high risk of infection in order to prevent infection or colonization with multi-drug resistant microorganisms. Uh, the other thing is that in every hospital there should be adequate number of uh, healthcare professionals dedicated for infection control such as infection control nurses and infection control doctors uh, supported by sufficient number of administrative workers as well as data managers and other specialists that could be very helpful for infection control and prevention program. The last thing is that uh, there should be installed regular surveillance of healthcare associated infections in order to gain the knowledge on the infection, uh, infections which are present in the population of the patients and such program is also useful for uh, monitoring the eff effects of uh, uh, prevention programs. The situation regarding healthcare associated infections varies across European countries. ECDC provides easy to use tools and indicators for each country to identify gaps and set improvement targets for safer hospitals for all patients in Europe. 
These findings, tools and indicators are available as part of the third ECDC point prevalence survey of healthcare associated infections and antimicrobial use in European acute care hospitals 2022-2023. Visit ecdc.europa.eu.